Hey, 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 how you doing? Happy Wednesday, it's Leona, how are you? I hope you are well and I hope you are good. Today on the stream, we are gonna be doing some collage art. I'm so excited about doing this today because I absolutely love collage so much. It's such an easy project to do. It's such an easy art form to do. It's really super accessible. You can use recycled materials. You don't need many things and it's just so much fun. You can really let your kind of ideas just flow and see what happens. Um, so today I'm gonna to be getting into a collage project and I'm also gonna be getting into a collage sketchbook because that's what I've been creating and I wanna share mine with you. And I wanna hopefully inspire you to do something similar, especially if you're like stuck for ideas or you wanna do something fast or you're kind of like bogged down in a project and you need to get away from it and try something new. This is gonna be the one for you, right? Hey, Halo, how you doing? I wasn't sure you saw my message, how are you? I'm so good, thank you. I'm feeling refreshed and revived from time off, time well spent relaxing. How's everything with you? Um, I'm just really happy as well to like have my projector back on in the background. Like it's been such a long time since I've had it on. It's just so nice. I've got like this orangey, pinky vibe happening. Got the fireplace going. So it's like happy days. So what have you been up to, sweetheart? How's all your art going and everything? I feel like I haven't seen any of your art for ages and ages and ages. Um, so let me know what you're up to. Uh, yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a collage project. I've basically been creating a sketchbook full of collages. I've only done a few, but I'm loving it so much. I went to the shop today and I purchased a bunch of magazines, like new fresh ones, because I've got like this folder here full of like images that I've collected like over the last few years. But I was like, I need some fresh stuff. I need some like new things. So I'm like, here we go. <laughs> you set an alarm so you wouldn't miss me. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you so much. I've got to get into watching your streams again as well because I've totally missed watching your ones. I think I must have missed about four or something. So I can't wait to get back into them after like watching them all the time. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be doing that and we're doing a collage project. As always with these streams, I usually kind of just chit chat for about 10 minutes. I let you know what's going on, what kind of projects is going on in the academy, what masterclasses I've got coming up and new things. So I've got plenty of new, I keep using the word new because I've got all these new things to talk to you about, which is really fun. So uh, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. And you can skip ahead 10 minutes if you wanna get straight into the project, or you can just like happy days, listen, sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and say, oh, I wonder what Leona is up to. Maybe I wanna actually listen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll be working on comic pages. Very time consuming, right? I am in the mood for quick things. Like ironically, this stream, you know, is going to be 90 minutes, but this project can be condensed super, super quick. I mean, you could do this project in like 20 minutes. Like the artworks I'm going to show you that I've already done, they only took me about 25 minutes each. So it is really a quick project. That is my whole thing. I didn't stream this week. Oh, well, I'm, I'm partially glad you didn't. So I, because I missed you, but obviously I'm not glad because I know that you weren't well. So I hope you're feeling loads better. And if you're not, I hope this takes your mind off it anyway. Um, so yeah, so grab your cup of tea. Let me tell you what I've got coming up. So um, as you know, I run a, a, an art academy online where I teach. There's loads of pre-recorded classes that I've been recording. There's over a hundred classes available now and you get four new classes every month. So for September's classes, they are behind you. We are doing complementary color fruit studies and just, you can just about see this one, it's just gone off the top there. But we've got pineapples and figs for yellow and purple. We've got strawberries and avocado 
for red and green and we've got blueberries and oranges for blue and orange and I'm um, let me know what you think about these I am so chuffed with them I think they just look so beautiful and bright and vibrant and I hope if you're not signed up to the Academy that these ones are going to be the ones where you're like actually Leona I'm going to join up now because these are really beautiful and I want to do these and I want to have these on my wall do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hi Pooja, how you doing? Happy Wednesday, how have you been? It's been so long. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. You look like you had a good break. Thank you. I do feel quite rested, actually. I do feel quite nice and mellow. Excited for Victoria's gone. Yeah, she looks so lovely. I've never seen her before. I can't believe I haven't because she seems like quite a big thing. So I can't believe I've never seen her before. Um, but her and there's another one as well I'm super excited for, which I just wrote on your wall and I can't remember the name of them now. But to be honest, I've got slight, slight drag race fatigue. So I'm just like going to ease myself in. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm just like, you know what? I love it all, but I need it in some little small doses now. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So let me know how you've been, Pooja. What you've been up to. I love that beautiful artwork that you shared recently. Let me know if you've got any other ones that you want to talk about. I'd love to know what you've been up to. Um, so yeah, so these are the classes that I've got coming up in the art academy for september so these two uh, these two up here the yellow and purple and these two here the green and the red and these ones are coming up in october and there's going to be another couple in october as well so that's really exciting then the other thing i've got to tell you about is obviously is the master class so next week on zoom so this exact time next week on zoom we do a fantastic masterclass which is all about a particular color and next week is orange at last <laughs> i'm so excited for orange because as you guys know uh my favorite color is orange yellow orange so i'm so excited to finally be doing orange after all this time um and if you want to check out on that link as well that link is in the description that um uh, in the description box below um i also tell you what other ones are coming up so i'll tell you what's coming up in october what's coming up in november and also december as well so if you want to check those out you're all very welcome to come and join us we have a lovely time it's nice to be able to see your faces and all that so if you want to come along come along it'd be so good to see you you know what i mean joy's in the house Hey Joy, how you doing? How's it going? How's life? It's lovely to see you. How are you? How's all your artwork going? Pooja, done a few outdoor live painting classes in a local park. Oh my gosh, how nice is that? <gasps> Did you find like a nice like little kind of zone where it was just like really nice and peaceful and relaxing? Uh, great to see you. It's great to see you. Our kids' favourite colour is orange. <laughs> Well, she can come in if she wants, you know, and paint something orange. Hold on, I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just all paint orange things. You can do it, obviously you can do anything. It doesn't have to be painting in the uh, masterclass, but I usually do a painting demo. So if you are not sure about what you want to do, anyway, just check out the link and come and see and come and join us. It's fun time. We have a good fun time there. Uh, I'm glad you're good. So, uh, was there anything else? Oh yeah, and the final thing before I get started with today's project is I'm, I am gonna be doing some YouTube videos. I filmed the first couple over the last few days. So they're now in the editing process. I can't wait for you to see them. It's something a little bit different. Um, so please comment on the videos and let me know what you feel and what you think about them. And if you like them, I would be really, really interested to know. I'm super excited to show you. So they will be coming soon, probably like in the next few days or next week. Um, so that is really exciting as well. Woo! Anyway keep letting me know what you're doing let me know uh what you're drinking let me know what you got planned let me know if you've been away anywhere if you've been lucky enough to go away anywhere we went away over in the uk so we've just been up north down south 
round and round just on little road trips which has been really really nice and it's made me really want to like explore more of the uk even more even though i've been to lots of places in the uk i still make still just like want to visit more places because it's just so beautiful uh yes gorgeous in the sun and breeze and barefoot on the grass with art friends i hadn't seen since last march oh my gosh isn't that just the best don't you feel like you have like this newfound appreciation for everything it's like now everything just seems like so much more like beautiful and just just feel so grateful for everything all right so let's get into it let's get into the project so um obviously there's been lots of things happening in the world over the last year and a half it's all been a bit crazy and it's all been a bit mental um and a lot of the videos these youtube videos i'm doing are going to be talking about these kind of things right but in the process what i found really really useful to do is cr to create a new sketchbook all about the future because i don't know about you and let me know in the comments if you want to my whole perception of the future over the pandemic got completely kind of skewed it got completely sort of just distorted because i couldn't plan for the future because none of us could could we none of us could kind of be like yay let's go and do this and yay let's go and do that and kind of if you have any like kind of like life goals and things you want to do suddenly all those things just kind of went away didn't they and it was kind of a nightmare it was just horrible it was just like i want to do all these things and i can't do any of them and i can't plan and i can't get excited and i can't like all my kind of zest for life was just diminishing so i was like right what am i going to do about this <laughs> you know what i'm like what am i going to do about this so i thought what i would do is create visions of the future and obviously you guys know that painting is a great way of doing that but also collage is a great way of doing that so i'm going to show you my little future sketchbook in collage that i've been creating i'm going to make a little artwork in collage today so you can follow along with me if you want to you can grab some magazines that you might have or some junk mail or scraps of paper anything you've got and we're going to make a little collage based on things that you want to see in the future so how do you want to be in the future what do you want to do in the future how do you want to feel in the future and this is kind of like for now and the future so it's like how do you want to feel now so if you're feeling a bit down or if you're feeling a bit run down like how can you just feel better how can you feel more calm more comfortable or more alive and more energized and how can you create images that make you feel that way so that's what i've been doing and i'm going to share it with you now uh just given notice to leave my saturday clinic at neil's yards easily turn oh you did too, try, too tiring to travel to London and not worth it financially. Got to find new work slash in karma. Well, look, well done for you for making that decision because that's like a thing in itself, right? Like just kind of being like, that's what I've got to do. This is what I've got to decide. That's what's happening. Because, you know, so many people were just like lingering things for such a long time and when it's not beneficial for you and your well-being and stuff. So well done for making that decision. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure it's something even more fantastic it's going to be just like waiting for you Pooja. do you know what i mean 100 percent. so i'm going to go over to my uh little camera here so i'm in the in the little corner here hi <laughs> i haven't gone anywhere you can still chat to me the nice thing actually about this is you can see these paintings up here now which is really lovely so i've got my loads of uh, magazines here that I'm going to kind of just run through and pick things out that I like but I'm going to show you my few little uh, collage sketches because they're kind of collage sketches first of all just to give you a little impression of like what I'm doing so I've called it the future because that's what I was having an issue with I'm like my future's disappearing so I need to start visualizing my future like right now so I'm going to start creating images of the future right now Alex's life. Oh my God, how are you? I've been so busy lately. I'm so happy to have some time now. So I thought I'd say hello. Hi, Alex. How are you? Happy Wednesday. It's so lovely to have you here. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, that's my pleasure. That is my pleasure. So this is my little future book. 
they're really really like little simple collages that like i said earlier just took me 25 minutes each to create but they make me feel so happy and you know anything that you do in life that makes you feel happy you've just got to keep on doing right you've got to keep on doing it so this is my first piece this is called the future i think i called this just the future um and you can see there's like a little temple here so this is like my little symbol of home and then we've got some roses here that i was thinking were like kind of like these magical soft mountains in the background and then it's all like on these kind of like wildflowers which i was thinking was like the earth and then obviously there's like stars and there's like this cute little dandelion a crystal for a planet maybe it's the moon i don't know and then we just got all these kind of like random planets uh globes in the top corner there so this is just like a, a little sketch as you can see there's not many things there's only just there's like three background pieces there's this kind of mountainous background here flowers flowers a temple oh there's like a little kind of crystal thing here and there's like a little crystal thing this is like supposed to be like a little antennae so or antenna is that antennae or antenna anyway it's one of those let me know <laughs> there so it's like connected to the cosmos so anyway this just took me like you know 25 minutes and when i look at it i just feel so happy um so that's my little vision for the future and i think a this one to me really symbolizes just feeling comfortable in the future do you know what i mean like this is all very comforting to me and the kind of whiteness and the kind of just sort of like serenity of it do you know what i mean so that's what i was trying to find is like kind of a feeling of serenity so that's the first one thank you very much halo uh, alex i'm glad you're good so the second one this is a bit more yeah oh this was called into the future that was called into the future uh this one is called calm and cool and is as you can see it's hardly any images at all it's just this one here then it's this one then this one is here and then this is another piece so it's literally like one two three four five pieces that's it um and what i really wanted to do and what i really want to do like just going forward is just be more calm and cool in life i just want to be a calm and cool person and i've got all my fieriness and my kind of energeticness down but um i want to be more of a calm and cool person as well so that is why i created this i'm watching with my mom hi alex's mom how you doing oh remind me of your name i've totally forgotten what's your name what's your mum's name how are you have you had a nice summer let me know guys where you've been away and stuff and if you had a lovely time um so this one is calm and cool again this just took me 20 minutes all right and these example these are examples of pieces i'm just going to create today on the stream all right and then this one is probably my favorite one because it's kind of like a bit more colorful a bit more creative as you can see down here it's called the creative connection and it's just like another little house so i think this is up from somewhere in eastern europe somewhere um and this one i really like because it's a mixture of like different things so we've got here we've got like fabric and then up here this is also fabric so this is a photograph of some like uh sequined fabric not sequenced fabric sequined fabric and so there's like fabric and fabric and then there's like makeup obviously you can see that's makeup and then this is makeup and this bit's makeup here and then we've got sort of like natural world stuff so we've got this kind of like rocky sort of outcrop which kind of is very similar to the sequins can you see how like similar they are so that's why i chose that and this little waterfall and there's a bit of earth here this is like a bit of a map and then obviously you've got the cosmos and there is actually a little person and if you can quite see that but there's a little person swimming there and i just thought this bit kind of looked like water coming down here and a little person swimming so there we go um so i had a look at your videos and are you now doing these lives every month yes that is true i'm now doing these every month and i've got some youtube videos that i'm going to be supplying to you in between the time so i hope you look forward to them celeste hey celeste how you doing sweet pea uh 
Kara was with you for a minute, was she? Hi, sweetie, if she comes back. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, this one is my favourite one. And then the final one, this one, which I don't actually think is finished. Um, I want to add a couple more images to these. Um, this bit looks a bit straight here. So I want to add a bit more in here. But this one is called Abundance. And one of the th things that I find in life which is super, super abundant is like the abundance you get when you grow fruit and vegetables. So like whenever you guys know, I think most of you in here like grow your own vegetables or fruit or herbs. Um, you know what it's like when you grow stuff, right? And you get this like abundance of stuff. And I think that was one of my first teachings um, after I graduated when I got an allotment and I saw all the fruit and the veg and everything. I was like, oh my God, it's just so much abundance everywhere. So I've got grapes here. I don't know what these are. They look like cherries, but I don't know exactly what they are. And then they lead up into this kind of rocky crop formation. And then like there's these big pools here. And I think this is from Iceland. And Iceland is one of my favourite places that I've visited. And all the people in the pools. That makes me feel like really super abundant. And then as you can see, there's a massive waterfall and people swimming in there. Trees, beautiful, gorgeous trees. Like trees always make, because the, like, the kind of majesty of them, the power of them makes me feel really abundant. And then I've found this like kind of little sculpture thing with horses and this peacock which I just thought was gold and looked fabulous. So I was like, oh, well, that's abundant as well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So they're my examples of little collages. So as you can see, all I've done with these is grab things from magazines that I've liked. I've saved them up over time. And then I have kind of like analysed the pictures and kind of decided about what I want to create and what theme I want to create. And then I'll just make like a little image. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to basically show you how to do today. So if you want to join in, grab yourself some magazines and stuff. And let's get into it, right? So I'm going to get a new page, a brand new page in the book. I'm going to fold it over here. And I don't know what I'm going to create, but I'm going to see what happens in these magazines and see what I find. I just bought these today. I bought these three today. This one got delivered through my letterbox. So that was really lucky. Um, and I haven't seen it yet either. So yeah. It's a live stream number 50. I know, right? Can you believe it's number 50? Time went quick, right? I, I remember live stream number seven. Oh, that's so good that you're back. I think it was easy card making. It probably was. Uh, so this week I kept remembering every evening to join on Wednesday. Oh, you're so lovely. Thanks, Alex. Um, yeah, so it's every month now. Every month because I'm going to be giving you things in between. Right? And I might hop on. I might do the odd extra one. We'll just see. It's the beginning of autumn nearly. So we'll just see what happens. So this is flipping gorgeous. So what I recommend that you do is when you are looking for stuff, just pull out things that you like right so just as you're going through and whatever you've got just pull things that you like so i'm going to go through this relatively quickly so but i mean there's going to be some beautiful images right in front of you right now so like check out all this gorgeousness i mean this is beautiful uh, what i love about this beach is all these trees here so i'm going to definitely pull that out uh don't need that <laughs> so when yeah so when you're looking at stuff just like just flick through things and anything that catches your eye anything that you're drawn to like you might be really drawn to this like kind of greek kind of thing i'm not in particular i love greece so much but for me it's a little bit hot so i'm always like that's not like exactly what i'm going for i mean i love ancient things so i might pull that for another artwork but not today sometimes you'll get like parts of images that are really good so like for this example obviously you can't use that but you can use this bit around here and then maybe stick thing something else over this so all the time you want to just be looking and kind of like thinking oh can i use that like what do i like about this image do i like it because it makes me think of a holiday do i like it because i like the color do i like it because i like the shape like what is it about it that 
you like like this for example this temple what do you like about that if you look at that what kind of stands out to you like do you like it because the shape is wacky do you like it because the color is vibrant like what is it that you like right that's what you want to be thinking when you're going through these like i feel like i'm going to use that for something else so i'm going to tear that out because i mean temples are just fab right so amazing like no matter whereabouts in the world temples are they're just something about them is so cool the fruit painting on the wall behind you i love it thank you so much these are available in september's classes in the art academy so if you go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash members at the beginning of september these ones are going to be available for you to paint so yeah i i think they're really lovely because they talk about um complementary colors as well as the shapes they're perfect for beginners really nice and bright and vibrant so i'm glad you like them alex um so yeah i mean i hope you enjoy just like having a little look through these magazines and often these magazines are so expensive as well like this one here was 10 pounds the other ones were five but this one was ten um so they're only worth getting like if you flick through them in the shop and you're like actually this is so stunning like there's something about it to me now especially that we live in in this kind of um sort of online sort of everything sort of virtual and technology based there's something for me being a traditional artist that you know these pictures are sort of like become even more special so oh look at that how cool is he oh my god looking amazing see if you spot something like that you can think like why do i like this like what is a what about that picture do i like and you know that guy to me just looks like he's doing his life he's independent he knows what he wants he's just creative in the zone of whatever he's doing i mean just looks very inspirational to me you know but i'm not going to pick that one that can be for another one for another artwork so yeah just go through go through i mean that's really nice a bit of a uk view there these kind of things are really nice so you can kind of like put yourself in these positions so that could like symbolize you like looking out i'm actually going to take that one because now that i've said that i'm like yes actually um yeah you might love animals you might like look check that out i really love the grass on this actually but like if you love animals there's always these kind of like uh travel magazines always have like loads of cool stuff oh look at that how cool is that I mean, the other thing is what you can do with images that you find is use them for different things. So like, what does that look like to you? Like, what does that feel like to you? Like, what could you use that for? You know, it doesn't have to be the thing that it is. So in your artworks, things that you love can, or things that you see can be become things that you love, right? I'm also really loving that girl just sitting there. She looks really cool. But that can be, I think, for another artwork. I quite like this. A little bit cheesy, maybe. But I quite like that. Um, but I'm not really spotting anything. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. How gorgeous is that? Trace the silk route. There's no, one, there's no one silk road. So plotting an adventure around this legendary trade network is both challenging, inspiring and liberating. Simply start in Istanbul and pick your own way east. You might delight in the cities of Uzbekistan, do some browsing at Kash, Kashgar's Sunday Market, chase Pakistan's Karakoam Highway, hike up into the little trodden mountains of Kajistan, follow bits of China's Great Wall or seek out old bazaars and caravanserais strewn across central asia i mean yes to all of that <laughs> yes i mean this is epic this is this is worth the magazine alone this picture right here that is that is epic i feel like it's a little bit too epic for my particular artwork so i'm gonna pass 
but I'm gonna use that for something else for sure right let's see what else we got in here Easter Island heads so let me know if there's anything you're seeing that like you think is like super inspiring I mean that's pretty cool it looks like a crater or something but yeah there's nothing else I mean, like I said I haven't looked in these yet this is the first time I'm looking at them so I'm probably gonna take my time all them crabs is there anything else in this one I mean that's pretty fab image uh, I really like food paintings because I love food well yeah <laughs> right <laughs> to be honest ever since I started the academy last year I have been wanting to do like fruit studies I did one I've done a banana one uh, there's one fruit study in there already but I was like I need to do some other ones and some oh look how cute the photography <gasps> like get in kind of magazines as well might even make you want to become a photographer because like look at that i mean it's just delightful right angelie's here hey angelie happy wednesday how you doing sweet pea have you been hasn't it been forever it feels like ages but we're back we're back in town we're here things are happening it's all happening it's all coming to you my love <laughs> food right <laughs> and you don't have to apologize about being late you're here and that's the main thing this picture this is the one i'm going to be taking this this one may become the central part of my artwork here because she looks chilled and she looks really happy so i'm going for that so i'm going to keep that put that to the side so let's see so that was that oh look we've got another hammock one see i love hammock pictures chilling right we'll get rid of this i'm probably not going to go through all four magazines because that's going to just take forever but let's see if we can find something to set in that lady so she can be like super relaxed in a really beautiful environment i mean how amazing is that that is proper beautiful check that out the earth is what we all have in common. Thank you, Wendell. <laughs> Thanks very much, Wendell. How are you doing? <laughs> That's a picture, isn't it? I mean, the photography. This is must be why this magazine is so... I think this is the one that's £10. This is... Yeah. I mean, gorgeous, right? So, Angelie, I'm creating an artwork today based on visualizing well-being images for the future so i've already pulled out this picture of this woman and i want to put her in some kind of environment that i find is very delightful and maybe some other things as well we'll just see what we're going to come across i'm just going to go by instinct we're just going to see what happens that's a lovely cave look at that look at it beautiful so yeah so i'm just sort of like giving ideas for like when you're looking at images in a magazine and you want to create something you want to think about the reasons you like things like why do you like them do you like the composition do you like the color this is really nice actually this to me kind of what does this image say to you this one here what does that say to you to me it says like magical and mystical like where are you going in that little boat like you must have got some delicious treats because you've got some birds on there and you're obviously going in this direction up here like you're gonna have a magical mystical time and i want to be there as well <laughs> do you know what i mean so i'm loving this i'm gonna take this one out i think we'll see what happens with that so we're on the kind of a collection stage we're collecting everything and then we're going to decide how we're going to use it then we're going to literally arrange it and then we're going to stick it down it's not going to take long at all this is beautiful as well a journey began right definitely definitely 
an ice cream collage. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to take this. But you can do an ice cream collage. Right? You could, like, if you were doing an ice cream collage, you could look through and try and find colours of ice cream flavours that you love. Right? <gasps> There's another one. Look at these mountains. Now, this is an aerial shot. So I don't know if it's going to work with that kind of hammocky image yeah it's gonna look like she's like floating in the sky i don't want to be floating in the sky i want to be on the ground thanks very much so i'm gonna leave that picture there <laughs> look at this look at this i mean do you know what i mean if you can't get on a plane and go anywhere you can have a look at beautiful images of gorgeous places mm -hmm. I hope this is making you feel inspired, guys, because you know, as usual, the only reason I'm here is to help you feel inspired. Balloons. OMG. Pools. I mean, this magazine is gorgeous. I could just look at this all day. Let's keep going. I need to find some other things. Oh, look at that. Trees, trees. Yeah, do it, Alex find some colored paper get the colors that you want to symbolize the ice cream ice creams are really simple to create they're basically like just circles for the scoops triangles for the cones very very simple boats are really nice like boats are really nice symbols like what do boats mean to you so if you looked at this magazine and you were like oh there's a couple of boats i could put that in my picture like what would boats mean to you you know that's what we're looking at we're we're taking things from the magazine based on things that we want to see like what do you want to see what do you want to feel like i mean look at that that is flipping great i don't know if it's right for my picture i can't visualize that lady on the hammock in any of these oh look at them crocuses see this almost looks like two pictures spliced together doesn't it this looks like a picture and this looks like a picture but it is actually the same picture which is pretty amazing very nice travel magazine it's gorgeous isn't it? it's gorgeous it's gorgeous this is nice i mean where else i want i quite like that feeling of that kind of mystical and magical so i'm going to keep looking for mystical and magical pictures i think and i found one it's a blue grotto yes thank you very much there you go it's amazing how when you decide on something you like know exactly what to get I mean, if that isn't mystical and magical, what does that say to you? Right? What does that place say to you? This is the Blue Grotto. Oh, yeah, this is in Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How beautiful. All right. I think I'm going to be using that, guys. I think I'm going to be using that. Let's have a look at what... Northern Ireland. I mean, Ireland is amazing. I've been to Ireland a couple of times. It's so beautiful. So let me know if you've been any, away anywhere this summer. I know plenty of us haven't. I've been staying in the UK. Um, let me know if you've been like anywhere. This is gorgeous and inspirational. I'm taking that. I might mix that with my hammock lady. Oh, there's more cavey things. But, I don't know. Anything else? Can we find anything else? Oh, look, Bolivia Salt Flats. That's cool. I mean, look at that. Northeast Brazil. White sand dunes and sparkling turquoise lagoons stretching out towards the horizon like a million perfectly crumpled little beaches. <gasps> oh, do you? I like the Maya head statues. Probably spelled that wrong. I don't know, but I know exactly what you mean. The Easter Island heads, right? Look at him. <laughs> he looks like the Guardian. Like, don't mess with my beach, all right? 
<laughs> you could do some great artworks with those, right? With them heads. Look at this. Look at this. Vulcan. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at it. The pyramids in Peru and Mexico are cool too, right? I mean, we're just spoiled for choice at this point. We are spoiled for choice. All right, so let's see if we've got anything else. More caves. Oh, look at that. That looks like silky gorgeous. So I'm going for mystical. So let's see what I can get out of the things that I've got. We went near Eastbourne on holiday. Did you have a nice time? Those tiny mountains are interesting. These little tiny mountains. Which little tiny mountains? Oh, these. Yeah, these are, I think this is sandstone, isn't it? Because you get that kind of effect from sandstone. Yeah. I mean, what does that image say to you, right? That's what you want to think. If you're using images from magazines, what does the image say to you? How can that art, um, how can that image be used in an artwork? These are like the wonders of the world. I mean, basically, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm taking that. I feel like I'm getting like a bit cave-like. We got the dunes. We've got swirls and swerves. Oh, look at that dolphin. Looks well happy. <laughs> um, let's see if we've got anything else. Right, I think that's it for this one. I'll just leave you with this beautiful picture. All right. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at how we can consolidate what we've found. All right. So... Because obviously I could keep like picking a gazillion things. But it's good to like go over and see what you got. Cynthia, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Just popping in to say hi real quick. Thank you for coming in. I hope you're well. Sending you all the good vibes, my love. How's it going? The masterclass is next week, by the way. It's going to be orange. Oh, yes, it is. Get ready for an orange explosion. Let's do it. I don't know why the jagged sandstone looks kind of scary and stressful. See, that's the thing, right? If you're creating a beautiful image... But let's get rid of, rid of the word beautiful. If you're creating an image about the future, you definitely don't want a scary and stressful future, right? <laughs> so then you want to stay well away from that image. <laughs> stay well away understand why what that image means to you why you feel the way you feel about it in this case because it's jagged uh and then like move away <laughs> like move on to the next one <laughs> move on to the next image <laughs> oh happy wednesday happy wednesday we're back we're back we're back in town guys we're back in town all right so let's see what we've got here. We've got this gorgeous wave thing. We've got this silky gorgeousness. We've got this, which I really love. I don't like this, but I love this. It looks very aspirational. It's a peak. It's like I'm going to go towards the peak of life. So I like that one. This one looks magical. This looks mystical. This one, I would not use the boat, actually, and just this little bit here. We've got some other cavey, weird vibes there, which could be good. Here's my going to... She's going to be my central image. I'm not going to use her. So this is what you want to do when you're creating your picture, right? You want to just get what you've got and then analyse it, work out, decide what you're going to use and what you're not going to use and why, right? I might have to go soon, but I will stay as long as I can as you keep me company. Oh, well, I'm glad to do that. And we started, that was the first image I pulled out, wasn't it? This one. So it looks like it was going to be like kind of cave vibes, right? I'm sure it's gorgeous. I guess it depends on the national park. Oh, I'm sure it as a place, it is amazing to visit. But this is a stream about creating artworks based on images. So you've kind of got to look at them a different way. So look at them sort of for what image you want to create. Like what do they symbolise? 
to you, right? Hold on, I'm just going to put some more music on. All right, so let's do it, let's do it. So let's get this girl out because this is what I want to do. This is, this is the picture. This is the picture. So what you want to do is when you've decided on what you want to use, you want to cut all them out like super, super neatly. And she's going to be a bit of the star of the show here. So. So you could um, do this class on the replay. Because you could go through. Grab some images. And watch this on the replay if you wanted to. This is sort of like a nice, easy, relaxing time. So what I want to do here as well is I want to cut out the C behind her. You can also do this kind of thing um, with a cutting knife if you want to. Now, I've got some classes on the Academy um, using um, paper cutting in the Wiczeninki style, which is Polish paper cutting. And I was watching some videos like to see some of the amazing paper cutting works that these, it's mostly women, have done over the years. And I found this video of this little old lady who was doing paper cutting. And she used, uh, you, you aren't going to believe it, I'm going to have to share the video actually, I'll share it on my group, on the Creative Inspiration group. She was using these kind of nippers, these clippers, which had massive blades and she was cutting the paper like they were these tiny little nail scissors or something. She, she was going for it, she was like about 80 years old with these massive paper cutters and I'm just like oh my god go for it it was so good uh yeah as the pattern or feeling yeah 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 I just realized it was quiet yeah I was like where's the music on I need to find some magazines I don't have that many anymore I know right they're becoming a bit of like a rarity right because people just don't buy them so much anymore but you can do this with newspapers or oh, let me just make sure I don't cut a neck off you could do it with newspapers because there's still plenty of newspapers running around. You could do um, you could do it with free magazines that you get. There's plenty of free magazines in supermarkets and stuff. You get free newspapers. So you don't have to buy stuff at all. It's just I really enjoy doing collage. So that's why I like buying them because I want to get all these like beautiful, like gorgeous images, right? And it's also really good to have like a little bin to put all your little bits in, right? Okay, so here's the star on my show. Here she is. I don't think I'm gonna use that. So that's a no. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this whole thing out because I've just got a feeling that I might use a bit more of it. I like that it's water, I like that it's cool. I like that the water is calm. I like that it looks relaxing. I like that it looks magical and mystical. I also like this weird cave formation. So I'm gonna chop this one out and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've like done any kind of collaging before. If you remember, did you ever do any collage at school? Like I remember doing collage in secondary school, but not primary school. So when I was about like a teenager, we did collage, but I don't remember doing it before that. So have you ever done like collage when you were younger? Or if not, have you ever thought about doing a collage? Like, 
sometimes it doesn't even cross people's minds because all they think about is drawing and painting which is obviously fabulous that's fabulous so i'm going to keep this little piece let's get rid of this that's what also what you want to do is when you're cutting out all your pieces like get rid of everything you're not going to use because it's just going to like get in the way so let's cut all these out i reckon i've got another five minutes of cutting and then we'll get to the super fun part which is arranging everything right we just recycled them out once we're done. I probably can find some at my parents' house. I used to do a lot in high school. Did you? What kind of collages did you create in high school? Let me know. I would love to know. Do, do, do. It's always good as well to look on the other side just before you cut something just to make doubly sure that you're not going to cut something that you actually love even more because <laughs> these things are precious like i said this magazine was 10 pounds so i'm going to keep all that writing on there for now this what's on the back i mean that is a beautiful heel but we're all right you can also with this kind of project you can embellish things so like you can use like little gemstones you can use bits of fabric it doesn't have to just solely be like magazines collage is so many different things and i think that's why i love it a lot because i love mosaics um even though i've sort of fallen out of love with it a little bit at the moment um collage is very similar to mosaics in that way do do um ba, ba, ba. collage was kind of a bigger thing in secondary school it was like very 80s 90s and early 2000s trend i'm not sure if kids do it this day do you think it was a trend do you think that's interesting i don't know if it was i don't remember it being a trend i just remember it being part of art so when you learn how to do art i remember in a levels which is what you do in the uk when you're about 17 um part of your art kind of curriculum is to create collage so um so I, for example, I was doing a study about me. So I was doing like self-portraits and then I created a collage of a self-portrait of myself, like just my kind of figure. Um, and I would choose all the colours that I wanted and then I would have all the different shades of the colour and all the different tones of the colour. And then I would use that to create the artwork with tearing up little bits. And that was part of kind of what we got taught so actually i didn't get i don't think i actually got taught it i just kind of did it which is sort of weird 10 pounds magazines are expensive nowadays tell me about it tell me about it sweetie <laughs> uh that's true i like using leaves and flowers even if they don't last very long a friend of mine uses pressed flowers in her art and it is so gorgeous like i have to share some of it with you actually angela i'm sure you really love it um right let's decide how this is gonna go like i'm already kind of loving this so now so we've done the stage of exploring and gathering right we've explored the magazines we've gathered what we like right the next decision well the next step is to make a decision is to kind of analyze and decide what you want to do so i've done that i've decided that i want to make a relaxing image with this lady as the central feature and i want to make it kind of mystical and magical as well as relaxing a bit dreamlike a bit kind of like oh how is my future going to be i'm just going to relax into what my future is going to be because remember actually angela you missed this at the beginning this sketchbook is called future this is all about images that have got a future theme 
so that's what I'm kind of going for right so I like these mountains I like these mountains I've only got like a kind of a small space here I'm only working on a4 so it's not very big I don't want to waste this let's see oh I also really love this I want to get this kind of well, I want to get that in as well <laughs> I want to get this and I want to get that. Let's get this text out of the way because that is seen to be very distracting. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to cut it off here, I think. And let's start gathering and putting it together. And then we're going to like overlap things. We're going to cut things. We're going to make them smaller. I mean, she's just chilling. This, now this seems like it should be at the bottom doesn't it now i feel like maybe i need a really really tall artwork here but let's just slip that under there for now all right so you can see what i'm going for uh you're right it was part of the curriculum but young people always decorate their bedrooms with collage oh right of course oh my god i've never thought about it that way angeli i've never thought about it that way that is so interesting, isn't it? Because when we were younger, definitely in that time, we would get magazines of our favourite pop stars and we would put them all over our bedroom walls. I used to have River Phoenix on my wall. I used to have Bross on my wall. Who else did I have on my wall? I used to have a big Pulp Fiction poster. And that, in a way, is a kind of a collage, isn't it? And then you would get photos of you and your friends and you would cut them out and stick them on your wall as kind of like collage we were doing that as kids Angeli blow my mind that's so cool Susan how you doing happy Wednesday welcome welcome I'm very late I was doing box exercise in the park well I hope you had a lovely time how was the class Alex what was your favorite type of art so I am a very kind of all-rounder person I love mosaic collage drawing and painting they are my favorite favorite things but i also love sculpture so there's five things <laughs> collage mosaic drawing painting and sculpture sculpture for a long time was my favorite favorite thing uh so yeah <laughs> what's your favorite type um you might need bigger paper i might need bigger paper angeli help me <laughs> It is hard for me to work a bit smaller, actually. Maybe I should have bought an A3 size sketchbook, right? Anyway, we're seeing, we're seeing. So now we're going to make this decision. I mean, it's interesting because these are very fiery, aren't they? Whereas these are very cool colours. I mean, I could make a double spread. Hold on. Hold everything, guys. I could make a double spread with this. It doesn't have to be one side. <gasps> Could I make a double spread? What do you think? What do you think? Maybe it could be like hot on one side and cool on the other. OMG. I'm getting excited here. I want to get rid of that thing. But something tells me that I might be better putting something over the top. I mean... Oh my god, it's an actually a volcano. It's a volcano in Tenerife. Well, that's an amazing picture. Of all the people I've known that have ever been to Tenerife, I haven't seen them take that picture before. <laughs> the class was great. I'm a bit sweaty now. I bet you are. I bet it was super fun. At the moment, I'm into online art with, like, number colouring. Cool. I miss ceramics, but it's an expensive art form. Yeah, ceramics is so fun. Oh, I just do love a bit of everything. I can't help it. You are so good at collage. Thank you, darling. I want to show you. Right at the end, I'll just flick back through this sketchbook and show you one of the... Um, I've done three artworks that I showed at the beginning. And I'd love to show you. So if you're still around at the end... I shall show you that. Now this, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut down here because I absolutely love this swooping motion here. Where does it end? 
Where does it go to? All right, I'm just going to go here. I absolutely love that. So I'm cut that off, but I'm going to keep this because I might need it for something. But I'm loving this. Like, look. <gasps> days it's all going to be revealed you know these streams are always about 90 minutes and we've had an hour already and we've done so much like it's all about kind of the details now uh thank you susan that's really sweet of you yeah i think that's a good idea both sides yeah i'm feeling it i'm feeling like i've got to cut this off though but then, yeah, because look, it's going to go... Maybe I'll cut it here, though. Rubbish. And then maybe we'll cut this off here. So this maybe will be a bit of a smaller side. And we'll see what else. So a bit of sky would be good over there. I mean, I just want to go into this world right now. This is making me really happy. Like, I feel just happy. I feel just happy. You know what I mean? This is what art should make you feel like, you know? And if it doesn't, you might have to change your medium. Do you know what I mean? So, like, if you're doing something and you're like, actually, this is a bit of a struggle. I'm not really enjoying it. Either change the medium or just go back and do something a bit more simple right just do something really simple this is why i'm introducing these classes into the academy because these are really really simple and i think a lot of the projects i've got in there now are lots and lots and lots of steps where are these ones there's not so many steps so that's a bit of good variation i've been in a town in the philippines and next to an active volcano have you <gasps> and how did it make you feel what was it like what was it like angeli right let's get this over there <laughs> let's get that over there let's get now this is lovely and i almost feel like that is gonna merge into this so i feel like maybe this one can be for something else and this one has got to come in here because this one is going to be the one that merges these two pages together because of this so i'm looking at can you see what i'm doing here can you see that i'm getting these colors they're all similar colors here this is feeling like it's moving into this and then you know i could even take some of that to put in with that if i wanted to to like make it match but i'm not gonna right now let's just put this under here and see what we've got to do right i've got to cut this gonna make it smaller so it fits so let's chop this off i've always wanted to ask you this question what is your favorite food this is very tough it's a tough question to answer alex what is your favorite food let me have a think about it let me have a think um it's tough isn't it it's tough because like food is so good and like i love so many different kinds of food i think if i was could only ever have one type of food ever in my whole life well there's two <laughs> there's two actually uh i didn't think i'd grasp how scary it is until it erupted last year oh my god so was it still erupting when you saw it um tell us more angeli we need to know we need to know what happens <laughs> tell us more that must have been super scary yeah tell us more tell us more all right so i'm gonna put this here and then i'm gonna put this here and then the waters the dunes maybe See, I need something coming down there now to finish that off. She's hanging there. I need to get rid of this border thing from the actual 
magazine. I'm going to leave that bit of text there just in case I find something to go over the top. We need to trim this so it fits on the page. Let me know if you're enjoying this, guys. Let me know if you're finding this useful. I mean, just stick her there and it's great, right? <laughs> I mean, that mount in the purple is just gorgeous. Maybe. And then... How am I going to do this? How am I going to get this into that? Well, maybe it doesn't need that. Maybe it could just be that. I mean, I could get some blue or something here. It's either... I've got to make this choice now. I've got to make this choice. I don't like making this choice because I'm not sure what to do i mean i could cut around the other thing is when you feel unsure about something and you like you're not sure where to go but you know the bit you really like you can cut um sorry you can stick the bit down that you know that you really love and then that like really helps and i feel like i need to extend this as well so i need to find something to stick that but I'm loving that so much. I'm just wondering if I just find a bit of blue to go in there. And I need to find something to go there. Like I could even use that other person. You remember that girl that I liked? She could go there. Um, let's cut these dunes up and see what we can do with this. Or these rocks, rather. Um... I'm really sorry I have to go. Uh, I have, uh, I have you here around 8.30. Might join again. Yeah, I should be going about 8.30, but you never know. I might stay an extra five minutes or so. Love what you've done so far. Thanks so much, Alex. Thank you for joining. It's great to see you. I love the lady in the hammock and the blue water. Yeah, me too. Right, that's just really going together, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, Susan. Just smoking and I'm sure bubbling, but it was pretty bad last year. People had to evacuate or stay inside. But I mean, were you there when it happened or were you there afterwards or were you there before? Like, you know, just fill us in if you can, if it's not too much to type. All right, so we get these little dunes happening. Ooh. Mm. What about just like, I could trim that off. See, what I'm trying to do is cover that box there. I could do that. I might need something else. All right, so we've got, what we've got to do now for the last 20 minutes is we've got to rectify this because we've made the decisions and we know what we're doing but we need to just like bring it all together because it's feeling like not done is it it's just not complete so we need to like see what we need so we need something there something there something there something there isn't that interesting in the four corners oh you can't see there because i'm in the way but there's a there's a little box in the corner there that needs to be covered it was a while ago when I went and I was just enjoying eating at a nice restaurant so I didn't think about the volcano, be volcano being active. I think I thought it was almost dormant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right, that's not right. Let's find something to go there. What have we got? Now we've got this person here. She could be looking out. So let's try this. Let's try. Let's 
see what she looks like. That'd be pretty good. Oh, look, I can change the shape of my picture. Here you go. So you can see a bit more. So you see I've got a little box there. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put her here. Oh, she's got her legs cut off. So I'm going to have to put her behind the, uh, behind this bit. Otherwise it's just going to look like she's got her legs cut off. We don't want that. So these people here are just symbolising me. And you've got to, if you use people, you've got to sort of understand like what they symbolise to you. So you remember when earlier when we found that guy who looked like he was from like some kind of tribe. You know, you've got to know what you're using that particular picture for. Is it identifying you or is it representing something else? Because obviously it doesn't matter if they're pictures of males or females. It doesn't matter as long as you like identify with them in some way. You identify with their characteristics. This is your artwork. You can do anything you want. You know what I mean? Anything that kind of like captures your imagination. You can do it, right? So wait. She would look great staring at the volcano. She's going right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So all I really need to do now is find a bit of sky to go there, find a bit of blue to go there, find something to cover that, find something to cover that, and we're done. And we're done, and we're done, and we're done. I mean, could that... I wonder if that could look good. Now, this is a bit of a different colour. Hmm. It might be a bit strange. But, considering it was just sitting here, what could this look like? Because you know what I'm thinking with this? Is it too different? Is it too crazy? You know what I mean? Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trim this little bit off here. Because this yellow matches this yellow. And I'm just thinking that would be pretty cool. It might be too different. Let's just see. Look, let's just not flick our scissors everywhere, Leona. Uh, she would look great staying at the volcano. Yeah, sorry I'm eating lunch now. Don't be sorry. What are you eating? Let us know if you get a minute. Now that could come in there, but I don't want it to. It might be too different. It might be too different. I'm going to leave it there for a minute. Just because I think it looks quite interesting. There's still a line going on at the top there. Uh, maybe it isn't right. Maybe it's not right. But I'm kind of liking it. Dance break. It's me oblivious of the danger. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's really funny. <laughs> I'm laughing in an affectionate way, right? I'm not laughing at you. I just, just so sweet. <laughs> there I am I think it works too do you I think it kind of works something else could like go there like this doesn't have to be finished today like I did want to kind of complete it but it doesn't have to be like you can also things happen and like you run out of time or you gotta go do something else and you might want to like stick things down and then come back to it and then stick other things on it like, you don't have to feel like you've got to, like, get everything done and done, right? So, we need some blue here. There's some blue there. Ooh, look at that. Could we use that? Could we use that corner up there? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe we could... 
Maybe we could, maybe we could. Maybe we could. out of the way I mean I quite actually like that other side so I'm going to keep that that oh there's a bit of blue there okay is this interesting could that bit oh no you know I could cut oh I could cut it there all right, all right, all right. Got a new idea. New idea in coming. Last 15 minutes of the stream. I hope you've been enjoying this, guys. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that in there. Put her over there. Move that there. Move that around that bit. I mean, I'm not too mad at this gold line at the top here. I mean, does it really matter? Maybe I'll trim that off. <gasps> but look. Maybe I'll trim a little bit of that side off. Because this is so cool. Maybe it needs to be there. All right, I'm gonna do a bold thing. I'm gonna do a bold thing. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm doing a bold thing. I'm doing a bold thing. Let me climb that mountain. <laughs> I kind of want this magazine. Well, good. I'm hoping it's inspiring you. That is my whole purpose here. All right, I'm gonna trim this side off. This is what's happening. I'm gonna trim this off. Then I've got a little bit more space on the other side. Just get what you can get. Don't worry about getting this exact magazine. Just get what you can get, get what you can get hold of. All right, and then that is there. Oh, now I've made it a little bit too short, but that's all right. So we're gonna trim. I'm gonna trim that there. Know what i've got a song in my head now do you really like it is it is it wicked i'm loving it loving it loving it <laughs> i'm loving it like this i'm really liking that i'm thinking that is looking really good but i have to trim it up because it's not it's too wide unless i put something there i'm gonna have to trim this we're getting there, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're nearly done. It's all a process. It's all a journey. Right? Yeah, maybe trim the dark corner of the cave on the right. We had the same idea. Right? Yeah. Yes. Love it. See? That creative brain. you got it flexing now, Angelie. She's flexing, she's flexing. It's a little bit big on that side. I'm just thinking, don't worry about it. So what I could do now, now this is a good plan. I'm gonna get some glue because I want it to be aligned and the only way I'm gonna get to do this is to actually stick it and then I can pick the whole thing up and get rid of that little bit underneath. So bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down. I mean, yeah, I've got to bring it down a little bit more actually. I've got to make it a bit smaller. All right. I've got to make it smaller. I've got to make it. So it's tense moments, guys. The last 10 minutes. This is tense moments. 
hang in with me right here so well, I don't want to lose all that purple though so I don't want to lose that purple so let's stick this bit down I'm just gonna stick it just with a tiny bit because I don't want to lose what I've done here there is a little gap there so I'm gonna have to do something about that see that little bit there I'm gonna have to do something about that I'm gonna have to put some kind of maybe I can put a, just a bit of blue in it here that's what I'll do I'll put a tiny bit of blue in there that's what I'll do right I'm gonna put that in that's it that's it get that under there get that in there that little bit of blue see look that is just you've just got to make it so it's like just looks like it's matching and now what I can do is I can trim all this off so it's like the same right oh just moved don't move go back down there you go it's because I haven't glued it properly oh no stop moving <laughs> stop moving stop moving There you go. There you go. There you go. So, 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 so. I wish I had still had my National Group Geographic magazines. I don't know what happened to them. Probably in a landfill somewhere. Oh, sweet pea. I wish you could have given them to me. You know what I mean? So, this is looking nice. I'm happy with this. Now, I've, you know, I've obviously done like a double spread here, and I was only going to do a single one. And I knew that a single one would be fine for 90 minutes. But I've been very adventurous and gone on a double page spread journey here. So it might look like I won't be able to finish the whole thing on this stream. But that doesn't matter because you can see the general gist of what I'm trying to create here. Now she's looking fantastic. I'm going to glue this. Do I want that one there? Do I want that? what would be really nice if i had some kind of hill that went behind here but the trouble with that is this peak needs that background to help it really stand out so what i'm feeling is i might have to get some blue for that right now she looks fantastic there maybe i can glue her on and then all i need to do is find some of this light yellow color which i could have used for that actually see that could be used for that all right let's get her stuff down she's happy here right and i'm just gonna roughly glue it so off the stream i'm gonna like properly glue this down but I'm just going to like roughly glue it for now. All right. And then this one, I'm going to put these two together because I'm happy about this. So let's get this stuck here. Try and align it really nicely. I mean, oh no, I can't do it any bigger than that. And we'll get her. Hi, I'm back. Welcome back, Alex. We're still here. We've got five minutes to go. I'm having some hummus with my rice cakes today. And the hummus is everything bagel flavoured. Tell me what's in that right now, please. What is everything bagel flavoured? I've never heard of that. It sounds nice. I'll stick around for the last ten minutes. Thank you. So I'm going to put her in here. She's looking up at the mountain. She's happy to be alive. She's just, there you go. So we've got this and we've got this. So for the last few minutes, I'm just going to see what I can find to make this complete. Like even that, like just that little bit there 
is better than having that whole box there. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Just getting rid of that white box. I need some other kind of cascade of something coming down on that side. And here I just need a bit of a blue background happening. So let's see. Oh, I said about using that for the hammock, didn't I? Let's have a look if we can do that as well. Which would be pretty amazing. So let's see if we can get this. Do you know what I mean? Just to sort of like, I mean, I don't know if that works. It needs to be darker than that, doesn't it? But that's what I want to do, right? I want to get those parts going up, but not with that, with something else. Like maybe this color could go up there, right? That's looking a bit more like it should be. It's coming together, right? It's coming together. And everything bagel is one that's flavoured with sesame seeds, poppy seeds, garlic, onions, and salt. So it's pretty great. It sounds pretty great. It sounds better than great, actually. It sounds properly yummy. Enjoy, enjoy. All right. Let's see. Now that's the right colour. I'm not feeling interesting. Interesting, interesting. I mean, it's kind of happening. It's kind of it almost looks like there's an arm coming down <laughs> or something weird it doesn't look quite right does it but we'll see we'll see we'll see looking fabulous leona thank you darling um i purposefully made sure i joined again because i wanted to see how much sorry see how you're going i love the art so much thank you so much thank you thank you i'm just experimenting i think i'm pretty much done as much as i can on the stream today but i just wanted to see i just wanted to see i'm not going to stick this down because i'm not sure but i want to like i want to just like sleep on it i want to just see it do it see it what it looks like tomorrow I've got all the bits stuck down that I wanted to stick down. I mean... That side actually looks okay. This side looks weird. Because I think it might be just too thick. But... I'm, tem I'm tempted to stick it down. I'm tempted to stick it down. Let's just look for the blue. Let's look for the blue behind... And then we'll be done. And then we'll be done for today. Let's look for a bit of blue. Maybe it needs more curve. Yeah, I mean, maybe I could draw on it. Like, or maybe it needs to come, like, round like that. No. Maybe it just needs to be, like, like that. Yeah, let's see, Angeli. Look at you you're coming up with the good ideas today. I mean, like, what's new? Like, you do always, but let's have a look and see if that works. And what I could also do is add other colours to it. Like, I could add some other... It looks like it's got sort of a bit of a darker brown in there as well. I could, I could really actually go a lot of details. And in a way... The ropes of this hammock is very similar to this, even though it's a different colour. It's got a similar vibe, hasn't it? So it's... How does that look? I mean... No. Maybe! 
here. Maybe, maybe. What do you think? What do you think? Should I stick it down? I'm gonna stick it down. I'm gonna stick it down. I'm gonna stick it down unless anyone says no. <laughs> I love your art. Thank you. It looks okay. I'm not sure either how to make the hammock look practical. Love you, Leona. <laughs> Missed you. <laughs> Missed you as well. <laughs> right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stick it down. I'm sticking it down. And then what I'm gonna do is off the stream. I'm gonna like find other colours to add to it so that it kind of like blends in. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I always ask, what did you have for dinner? What did I have for dinner? Oh, I had tofu and mixed vegetables and potatoes. What did you have? Get the blue, get the blue, and then we're done. Get the blue and then we're done. Get the blue and then we're done. Get some blue, Leona, get some blue. Come on now, come on. It's got a, I mean, there's blue all there. I mean, there's blue everywhere. There's some blue. There's some blue. Blue's not hard to find in travel magazines, right? There's always some blue. And since blue is most people's favourite colour, you've got happy days. Well, the only thing is, is it's got that kind of like border colour. You know, see that border happening. But I mean, I'm not that mad about that. So we could make it lighter. That looks nice. Could make it darker. Not so much. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. I'm just sticking it roughly. Let's get it in there. I know it's got that border thing happening, but honestly, I'm not bothered about it. So. So. I think that's it. I think that's it. I know I've got to find something for this and something for this. And I'm going to do some more work on the hammock. And I'm going to actually, I want to find something to go behind here because I don't particularly like this. But apart from that, I'm really loving it. I love the feeling. I love that this is like warm and kind of energetic and she's just pondering for a moment on her journey. And I love that this is like really calm and she's like, I'm chilled, I'm cool, I'm in this cool cave and the cool waters and then you've got this kind of sand dune bit below which could be the ground and it links to this side i'm happy i'm a happy person this is good enough for today i'm gonna sleep on it and then i'll have something fun to do for myself tomorrow which is so exciting it's so nice to like work on something and then know that you can kind of come back to it and that you're just like, oh, yeah, that thing I'm doing, I'm going to go and do a little bit more. So, yeah. <laughs> the right side of the hammock a bit more to the right. Do you think? Do you think I should move that over a little bit? I'm going to leave it for now because I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add to it to make it look a bit more realistic to get those kind of stringy bits happening on the hammock, the rope. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bear that in mind. I wish I was re as relaxed as that chick in the pic. I mean, this is what I'm saying, Halo. This is why I'm creating these future images. Because I'm like, I want to be that relaxed as well. <laughs> uh, sounds like a nice dinner. I mean, broccoli. Yay. The art looks great. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you, Angelie. Love it. Both sides are so harmonious. I just feel chilled. I always feel chilled doing collage. It's just so relaxing and rewarding and easy and comfortable and just all those good stuff. So just before I go, I'm going to show you quickly the ones I did before uh, for those of you who weren't here at the right at the beginning. So as I was saying, this is my little future book, my little future sketchbook. I'm just going to show you super, super quickly. 
uh, it's my future sketchbook because I want to create images about my future that make me feel excited and enlivened and relaxed and cool and calm this one is called welcome to the future get into the future or something like that it's like the temple which represents the home it's on the earth but it's still in the cosmos it's connected to everything the roses are supposed to be symbolizing the mountains that they're all soft and comfortable and there's like these kind of crystal bits that kind of connect to whatever planet or star that is um the next one oh that was called into the future this one is just called calm and cool it's because i want to be more calm and cool in life it's really simple it's just five images um and this i guess kind of represents issues being just as light and a light as a feather and balanced and there but not not there because it's white and it's kind of out of it and she's calm again we've got a theme going here guys <laughs> have you seen this one is called the creative connection it's a house on a hill this is actually uh, a photograph of fabric it's a big skirt uh, this is a photograph of um, sequins i've put someone swimming there going down into this waterfall this is makeup here which is kind of like creativity and then obviously got the cosmos again so it's linking to the future and possibilities and all that and then this final one which i don't think is finished is called abundance and it's got all the fruit in it it's got these beautiful pools here like in iceland i think this is actually from iceland which where i've been which i love there's a waterfall there's people in the water there's gold horses because that feels abundant to me and there's like trees and then that's everything and then that's taken us to today in our beautiful um cool and calm relaxed world and our sort of adventurous warming sort of journey but also feeling cool and calm in the process of doing it um so that's my future sketchbook which i am continuing working on i might not work on it on the next stream but i will definitely keep you posted with how it all goes and most importantly i hope that it has inspired you to create something um that shows your vision so if you have like visions for things in your life if you want to create things but you kind of don't really know how to you want to create emotions and feelings that you don't really know how to there is no better way that I know personally, I'm sure there are plenty of other ways, but there's no better way that I know to create it in visual form because visual things are so, so powerful. And when you see them in front of you, it literally lifts you up. Like I feel so like happy right now. I feel like so enlivened and inspired because I've created these images in front of me and these images are inspirational to me so I hope you find images that are inspirational to you either that you can create or you can look at and make you feel like super happy to be alive because life isn't all about being happy but we need to feel that way don't we a lot so I hope I've provided you with that today boom boom so there you go <laughs> love the stream have a fabulous day leona thank you so much halo you too i like how the future looks too thank you so much do you, do you mean the text at the front um reminding me of the hammock i was lying in columbia two years ago except it was stripy and in the jungle rather than by the sea oh that's so beautiful i'm so glad i've reminded you of that um love the creative collection of art you did thank you alex very colorful oh well you did a lot yeah i've been really really inspired lately uh gotta go hugs around hugs halo thanks for joining in hugs angeli you've definitely inspired me good because that is my whole purpose of being here so i'm really glad um i wish i could do collage as well as you well you do beautiful drawings and beautiful paintings so you're all right you're all good <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Susan. well you know grab a magazine or the next time one gets posted because we often get like magazines posted through the door just save one and just see what happens you could even add some to a painting and make a mixed media piece so there's so many things you can do right thank you for the compliments 
Uh, stay safe. Thank you so much for the stream. It was great. Bye, Leona. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, remember, there's the masterclass next week. The link is in the description below if you want to join us. Love to see you. So fun. We're going to be doing it all about the color orange. So if you want to come and join, come and join that. The Academy, if you go up there artistresource.co.uk forward slash members come and check out get four classes every month and there are currently over 100 classes that you can join in with drawing painting collage sculpture uh inspirational videos loads of stuff uh and even relaxing music in there as well so you know what i mean so uh thank you Pooja. i really enjoyed watching you create that thank you so much keep me posted with all that you guys are doing i'm so interested in all the artwork that you do um, so keep me posted with everything. I'll see you later. I will see you in the masterclass next week if you're coming. And I'll see you in a YouTube video. If not, because I'm going to be posting some YouTube videos here on the channel. So let me know what you think of them. All right. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining. Bye for now.